I have often seen developers handle arrows suboptimally. They might return them between layers or have try catch blocks all over the place. There is a better way you can handle them centrally and just throw arrows instead. Let's look at how we can do this in Node.js. I have a demo module open. Let's run the tests to make sure we don't break anything. I'll run it in watch mode. I'll run all tests. Let's start by adding a draft of the error handling middleware to see if it's working. So app.use there is an error object and there is a request there is a response and there is a next function to pass it on to the next middleware we have to import that now oh, it's done for us, awesome so let's just return a status code if there is an error Let's turn a, return a 400 error, and if there is no error, we just call the next function to pass it on to the next middleware. Everything is working because we're handling all, all errors. Let's now remove some of our error handling to see if this middleware is working. So we go here into our controller, and here is the try cat, and it's returning a bad request with this error if, there, if it's an error. So let's remove this one and run our tests. And it doesn't actually work, it's hanging. That's because express controllers don't work very well with async functions. Luckily, there exists an open source project that can solve our problems. So it's called express async errors. And let's go ahead and install that into our project. And then we just need to import it. Like this and that's let's now look at our tests let's restart them all right it seems to be working handling errors like this is a bit too naive let's create custom errors to better deal with this Something like this. Let's now use the error in our controller. So we import it and we throw it here. We did a slight mistake, so we're missing the message. So let's. Uh, this is a bad request, and then we're missing here the message. See, everything is working, so let's apply this here as well. Great, let's go and tweak our error middleware. So let's import the HTTP error. And in our middleware, let's use the error. And let's check if the error has a status code. And then if it has a status code, let's just forward that status code if the error is a different error then we just uh, pass it along to the next error to the next middleware so there is some error here going on maybe we forgot something um, so here we're just returning this error and by default it default it's a 404 let's just keep the same behavior and apply this as well here Nice. One minor detail, we're forgetting the message. So let's up JSON here. And let's send an object with error equals to error.message. Alright, now we're all set. This is a bit verbose, so let's refactor this a bit. Let's create a helper method here. And let's call it bad request. And it's gonna take in the error message as a string. Here we're gonna return a new HTTP error of 
Bad request. Then here we can just import the bad request. And we can use it here. So this is gonna throw a bad request. We might call it bad request error if you want to be more explicit in our naming. But I think this reads very well. I think this is much cleaner. Some developers might want to refactor this further by adding guard clauses, but I love the simplicity of this. So I'll keep this. We can apply this pattern to the rest of our controllers. We can add more errors like not found, etc. That's it for this video. I hope you liked it. Please remember we spent much more time reading our code than writing our code. So keep that in mind and try to make your code clean. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.